For the first step of this experiment, we will start by demonstrating the preparation of this base. First, we take 100 microliters of 50% weight by weight sodium hydroxide and add 200 microliters of methanol in vortex for three to five seconds. Next, we add two milliliters of TMSO vortex for five seconds and centrifuge for 30 seconds to pellet the base. Here we have the base pelleted at the bottom of the tube. It is more opaque than the DMSO top layer. We then pipe it out the top DMSO layer and rinse the walls of the tube and discard that top layer. We then repeat that process by adding two more milliliters of DMSO, vortexing, centrifuging, and removing that DMSO layer while washing the walls of the tube. We do this until the DMSO layer removed is clear. After the final wash, we add two milliliters of DMSO to the base solution and vortex this solution, and the base is now ready to be added to the sample. Before we add our sodium hydroxide base to the sample, the sample is dissolved in 400 microliters of DMSO. This is spun magnetically using spin vanes, which should sit for at least 30 minutes prior to beginning the experiment. The sample can spin for longer though, even a week before beginning to really try to dissolve the sample as much as possible. We add 400 microliters of our base into our sample and sonicate the sample for 15 to 30 minutes. The sonication is to help insolubles and magnetically spinning is okay. After sonicating, we add 100 microliters of iodomethane to the sample and allow the sample to spin magnetically for 40 minutes. This concludes one round of methylation. To try to ensure complete methylation, a second round of base and iodomethane addition is effected. A second methylation is not necessary in some cases, such as oligosaccharides. 400 microliters of our base is added again and allowed to sonicate for 30 minutes, followed by another 100 microliter addition of iodomethane and a 40 minute spin. Now, to neutralize the iodomethane, we add 2 milliliters of water, which will turn the sample cloudy. And to remove the iodomethane, we evaporate it out by streaming nitrogen gas through the sample using our blowers by placing the pipette at the bottom of the tube. The iodomethane has completely evaporated off and the sample turns back to a clear solution, which should take about 20 seconds. The sample may not become clear if something else is in the solution, in which it is okay to continue. Next, two milliliters of dichloromethane, or DCM, is added to the solution and the sample is vortex and centrifuge. Centrifugation should be between 30 seconds to one minute. The top water layer is removed, washing the sample. This wash is repeated with two more milliliters of water added to the sample and once again vortex and centrifuge removing the water layer this is in order to remove all the DMSO from the sample. This is repeated a total of five times and finally the DCM layer is transferred to another tube to be dried down under nitrogen stream fully. 